I do want yeah, what, what is, I do yeah, want the from Egon software, uh, from software Fortnite, Fortnite collab. Yeah, crossover gonna happen. Curse you, Bale! And then you you <laughs> yeah, that's the emote. That's the emote dance. Are we just gonna fight him? Are we just gonna run in and fight fight Bale now? Is that what's happening? Yeah, let's do it. All right. I me, mean, why are we not? We have to kill. Cameo. I mean. Oh yeah, you have to go activate it before we come in. Uh, yes, you do. Bail. Blip, 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 blip. Do you want his speech? I've got it. Let me know when he's activated. Did uh, nope. I think? Yeah, did I, I, I just activate him? I think I might yeah. have. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, we can go. yeah, he, yeah, I did. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. I hereby vow you will rule. Oh, I might be dead already if this crab attack kills me. Damn it. Well, that ended fast. No, that means I have to try. I do 3,000 damage a hit with my weapon art. It's pretty good. Good nice. for you. Oh, okay. That doesn't count as a jump. That's fine. So the cool thing about Bale is that he actually just kind of has the regular dragon move set. He's just bigger. He's real bigger. He only has one target point. Correct. I don't like that. Yeah, I've just learned to like play unlocked with these guys as much as I can. I don't really lock onto any of the dragons. Right, yeah. Good. In this case, you can't even lock onto his his torso, it's only his head. Good. Wow, my mimic tier is already at one percent. <laughs> yeah, mine already died. Holy shit! All right. Do you need to do enough Solid damage, Mister Bale? You might be foul dragon. dragon. But he I bleated. Your You're a rotten hide. With a hair of harpoons! <laughs> I <laughs> fucking love that line. Uh -oh. That was probably the biggest hit my bubbles here could have saved me from. I love this uh, attack. You, get, you just get to sit out the attack. God, he's low. Okay. Oh! <laughs> No, that was right can... in the face. Oh, a skeleton with a broken rune in it spawned in the middle of the arena, and he just broke it for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, How kind of him? <laughs> I, ran, I ran to cough for, heal, for heals, on. and the were in the middle of him. <laughs> Come on. Oop. <laughs> Got hit. I forgot I left my runes here last time, because that's where we left off. Yeah, my runes are here, too, I think. Yeah, you should probably get them. Uh, scary to look for. I'm not scared of my runes dying. Uh. I don't. Fear is, no fear is the mind killer. Fear? I think the sword, the lightning flame sword is the mind killer. No. I think it's still fear. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I fear the lightning sword. Oh! <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, see? Uh, I got killed. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you, you, I was watching you the whole time, Toaster. You were doing really good. Thanks. I was doing my best. I was playing very conservatively. I'm very rusty. You're not. Fight. This oh, isn't one I got oh, to do oh, much of a oh, co-op, oh. so. Uh, when I hit him with whoa, my whips, his little whoa. red meter doesn't even move. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Literally doesn't move over there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> is Igor dead? Egon? Uh, no. I don't think there. so. Yeah. yeah, he's still around. I, I just saw him. Egon, oh, there he is. I found him. Will solo the boss. <laughs> it's fine. Take him out. He didn't solo him last time. <laughs> Yeah, but we have him pretty low, so it's good. Fuck it, what hit? Ah. I'm so bad at even hitting me sometimes with this fight. Causing a very. Yeah, game. you're actually in a really safe position right now. I just burned through all my heals, damn it. There you go. Is he about to explode? Okay. No. He did, basically. Very good. No! Just, yeah. I think oh, yeah, this would be it. Fucking breath attacks. Move. Oh god. No! Oh well, here it goes. Yep. Ow. Nice car. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Nice. Got that rod on him. The reflex to roll even when you're out of range. Like, it's so powerful. 
I don't know if it. I am out of range ever. I didn't. I didn't mean you. I meant I, I'm watching Ka, and Ka yeah, is I'm like, doing that. yeah, Ka is like rolling perfectly with the correct timing, but it's like super far out of the way. So it's just. I mean, it's a I good just, habit I, to get I into. Just, I, I roll constantly because I can't tell which attack. There you go. We did it. Range. Got him. <laughs> good job. Good job, guys. Nice. Second try. I did not help. I did not help yeah. even a little in phase two. Bail the dread. Sometimes just pulling aggro, so if you're getting one hit every no rarely, longer. that's still helpful. Yes. We did it. Yay. Come back to life, everybody. I think it drops 500,000 runes. You bail. I feel like I could do that roll. Me when I'm grinding in Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. <laughs> Okay. All right. Now that we did this, uh, we might want to banish to our own world so we can go talk to Flora Sax, the dragon priestess. Away. Mm. Let me get my soul. They should let you ride your horse in boss arenas after you kill the boss. <laughs> to they should just always let dreams. you ride your horse in the game, no matter what. It is a double-edged sword with how easily he gets staggered. You should ride your horse indoors. I just loaded into my personal like game horseman. where all the frogs are dead, and they just started ragdolling down the hill at me. Yeah, 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 that's great. yeah the, the ragdoll the reload. Frogs are dead. I uh, I spawned in right in front of Igon's body. <laughs> he has pulled me from the aether. Oh, he has a ton of shit too. Oh, yeah, his stuff is on his body. Um, in honor of him, I will dress like him. I was going to say, I still have no idea the glitch that I saw last night, again, with the ragdoll of that one misbegotten in the forge, where it's like, it looks like he's hanging from an invisible rope, and it has physics. You can push him back and forth, and it'll sway back and forth like with a pendulum motion. And I've literally never seen that happen to a ragdoll in a Souls game before, ever. So I have, like, I'm completely baffled as to what's allowing that. What that's super has, like, weird. An invisible fizz bone that's caught on something. It's It's got to be something like that. All right, uh, I'm gonna run back to Egon. Uh, I'm gonna banish everyone from my world. Oh, All right, everyone should be heading back. I'm gonna run back to Egon to grab his stuff, and then I'm gonna talk to Florisax. The flower stone. Now Kyle can have Bale moves. Yeah. Bale does have moves. I don't know if any of them oh. are good, but they're his, specifically. You have to beat the his game twice in order to get them both. Yeah, because this quest and, and everything specifically gives you a, a heart to use that's just his. Yep. At specifically this, like, communion spot. I took the real long way through the mountain, didn't I? Oops. Thought I was... more. I just went the long way down, thinking that I was taking the short way. All right. Um, oh. Taking your way. I am very low energy because I didn't sleep very well, so I'm very tired. So forgive me oh. for that. Egon's great bow, his helm. Bell bearings and stuff. Uh, all right, let's go back to the altar of Dragon Communion. She's here during the day because she's sleepy. Mm hmm. All right. Let me know when everyone's ready to talk to Florisax. Ready. I am yep. here. And it's not letting me do nothing. Yeah, I don't have to. Yeah, it's not letting me talk to her either. She's still Be sleepy. Nighttime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably uh, it. She's smart. knocked on. There we go. She's awake now. Very oh. good. Now she. All right. I am ready to speak to her. Let me know when we're ready. Yep. Ready. Ready. Let's I'm ready. Go. Let's do it. I succumbed to the deep slumber that was meant for my lord. It was a craven act of a foul and lowly beast. Forgive me. 
good warrior, my lord will no longer look upon me. I have fallen from grace. An old dragon, no longer. Go on, leave me be. Ah, finally, our wish is granted. Our dream, long yearned for, has come to pass. My lord was blessed with great insight. He saw in the insatiable hunger and fierce spirit of man the very things that would fell veil our wretched nemesis. Warrior, you soar with the strength of dragons. All right, so she gives us Dragon Bolt with Floris Axe. Whereas I am fallen, leave me be. And then you can confess to putting her to sleep. Is that the truth? Never in all my years. How could you inflict such cruelty? No, that is not for me to judge. Whatever your hand in it, it was I who succumbed to the sweetness of slumber. The fault lies with me. I may be fallen. But I need not surrender my honor. On second thought, I believe on a mere whim, you've stripped me of my one and only law. As such, I require another. You. One day, may you become a dragon whole, a lord of your own making. Lead me, and I will follow. My good lord. All right. So, if you just keep talking to her, uh, you will get the opportunity to take her with you. You're kind of freaky, though. She's kind of freaky, though. Oh, she's a summon, huh? Yeah, so she becomes a summon here uh, with this. Um, and the other thing that she can give us if we don't uh, put her to sleep is a dragon heart, which does uh, the dragon priestess heart, which does what the lamenter's mask does, except for dragons. It turns you into her. It makes you a weird dragon person because Miyazaki just loves his weird item interaction transformation items. Uh, but I figured the, uh, the, the ash was useful. Miyazaki said dragon TF. Oh, so I don't get her heart. Uh, probably not here. It doesn't actually do anything as far as I can tell. It does. What does it do? Uh, you can use it to transform into her. Yes, but I mean, it doesn't actually do anything statistically speaking. It boosts dragon cult incantations. Oh, we can edit it into your game if you need it. It's fine. No, there's a different one that I want more that we can still get. Okay, cool. There are three transformation items in the game? Mm-hmm. I thought there was only two. Interesting. We'll, uh, we'll have fun when we get to that. Maybe there's even more. Is it in the DLC? Yeah. Huh. I wonder. I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, let me open my world back up. All right, my world is reopened. And Egon really had the least pants possible. Yep. Good for him. <laughs> Minimal pants. You won't believe how little pants. You have seen little pants, but have you seen less pants? The whole interaction was really cool. I'm a little bummed I missed that in my uh, first playthrough. Yeah. The DLC. But I'm I, RPS on now. I wanted to get this version of the quest line because when if you don't put her to sleep, she's just like, ah, you killed Bale. My lord will be happy. Blah! And then she just dies. 
It's like, oh, yeah, that's oh, really boring. Okay, yeah. well, whatever. You get her hammer, which is pretty cool, and you get her heart, which is pretty cool, but doesn't really do much for most people. Um, but that's fine. I don't remember what this possible third one is. I I I must have gotten yeah. it, but I don't. I'll let remember. you know when we get there. I didn't have the chance to miss the connection with her and Theolia because I just never, I just never got the sleep potion to begin with. <laughs> And I've, com- and I've continued with the Olia's quest way further in without ever getting to that step. So, womp womp. Yeah, I did get the poison and everything from him, but didn't get to put it to use. Okay, yeah, it's definitely just co-op. It's just co-op where this place runs like garbage. Weird. Because it was fine one second ago in my game. Alrighty. Uh, so we have done basically everything we can do right now without possibly breaking the charm. I think we should go to the Morth Ruins and go up into the poison area so that we can head to the catacombs in the Church of the Bud. Does that sound fun for everyone? Yes. Okay. Sure. The play leads to the other, uh... The other Uh-oh. bear. Um, Talking about going to the north side of the river and stuff. Ultimately. Yeah, yeah. It it fine, it ends that route with the bear. Yeah. This this is all where uh, I ended up, and I was just trying to figure out how to get down to that one keep that's in the middle of the huge mm-hmm, depression. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I ended up looping all the way through all the way there, around. then down yeah. the entire river into the blue zone. And I'm like, all right, so I found. So, stuff. <laughs> found everything except for what I was looking for. Mm-hmm. I kind of love that. Require banishment. Uh, I'm waiting for it to load me in, so we might just okay. be waiting Maybe for me. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, mine's got stuck loading, but not in the normal spot. It got stuck at like 99 percent or whatever. Same. Yeah, mine, it did this once. Really it did this once before. So I don't. It might be me because my game crashed. Oh, no. oh. it might free you guys now. It might be you then, yeah. Can't believe you've done this. It's okay. I'll do it again. Probably. Do it again. Yeah. Probably. It's finally. Yeah. Wow. All right. We made it. We made it back in. We made it back in. I was just about to Alt F4. Like my finger was hovering over it, and <laughs> yay, it worked. All right. Um, it, let's go it north. Was my fault. Little faith. There, if you look, oh no, oh my god, the knight, there's a knight that's over good. here that's meant to be on his horse, he spawned standing on top of his horse and then walked away from his horse, so his horse is just standing there, doing nothing. I vote going out of our way to kill the black knights just because they're good for upgrade materials and very easy to kill. Sure, yeah. Like Your knights are easy to kill. Oop. Get bleated, nerd. That does 4,000 damage. Didn't drop anything for me, but that's okay. There's some Mesmer flames on the road, too. Oh, yeah, there's the horse. Just hanging out. Love it. Unfortunately, yeah, that made the enemy harder. <laughs> oh! I, it hit me yeah. from behind. Yeah, they can, they can hit pretty damn by everything. Curse you, Bale. Oh, and we're going down uh, to the water down here, right? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Follow the tapeworms. I love that, how that one looks like a, m- a red mushroom sticking out of the ground initially. That is such a good little troll. Uh, you can see it from a distance, and it's this little red thing. So you're like, oh, material, let me ride at it. And then he pops out of the ground. The extendo shroom. Shadow they give me fragment. those enemies give me like cut demon souls enemy vibes where they're just like weird they're, they're very so like weird it's it's definitely uh siblings to the weird bear monster yeah the exactly. bear warrior the there's bear, a weird oh, like statu- the statue mimic there's a weird like unused statue mimic enemy that's kind of like it doesn't look 
I don't know. It's, it's just so weird looking. You're like, huh? Why so is barbarian, so fun to say. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted oh, to read right. out Florisax's description. It just says, "Long ago, Florisax assumed human form to share dragon communion with the world. Now she has acquired a human heart." Uh, Florisax basically. Uh, the whole idea of the uh, of like dragon communion literally is dragon propaganda kill to get people to kill drakes <laughs> which I think is very funny hell yeah heal from afar oh yay the perfumer set that's fun oh, I just got that from whole time. <laughs> we could have but we didn't. Ka is gonna love that <laughs> spell, though. Poor Ka yeah. could have had this for the last twenty hours. Yeah, the <laughs> only just, like, it, problem with here. it is you can't lock onto your teammates, so you it's have to manually spell, aim baby. it. But it's fucking, <laughs> it's fucking huge. So like when it hits, it's just a massive ring of heal. So this is this is a neat moment. The the minor air tree just here, surprise. Where? What are you talking about? Oh, in the cave. Yeah. Yeah. It's because when, you, when you're uh, when you're when you're playing this the first time, it's just kind of out of nowhere. You're like, oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> what does it even mean at that point? I wonder if the good shadow news tree is the shadow of the air tree. Then what does it mean when there's an air tree in the shadowlands? <laughs> Yeah, it's almost as if maybe oh. this is where America comes from. Couldn't be. No way. Hey, there's a forager brood. I'm going to talk to him. Oh, yeah, friend. Hey, buddy. Pearlescent yeah. scale. Thanks, bud. Oh, yeah, this is the one that I killed in my game. Oh, no, I was going to say it has a pretty low drop rate. It's not the worst. The, the enemy who drops that also drops... A finger, I forget the exact name of it. It's like finger mimic or something like that. Uh, finger mimics, yeah, they're kind of mushroom. Yeah, that yeah that's, that's a the drop rate on that is a pretty low. What if a that's like annoying. Was to fake. Fake. They do, uh, they do naturally spawn in the world around finger ruins as well, though. So, I I think there's a limit to the, I don't know how well that works. I haven't gotten to the second uh, finger ruin place. The second um, one, the second ruin has respawning ones. Okay, I was wondering about that. The first one has the one that can cast that spell on you, and it spawns ones near you. Yeah. But there's a limit to how many it spawns. Um, yeah. And I actually haven't looked closer at how, how that works yet. It might just be like teleporting them from elsewhere in the oh, arena. Okay, no, that's enough of them. I'm out. I'm not dealing with that. There we go. We did it. The escalation there of birds. There is an extraordinarily strong chance that when we get to the final boss of this DLC, I respec back into parrying just to let everyone <laughs> know ahead of time. Uh, because it will at least make it easier for you all to do things in that fight. Yes. But no, how it's, good it's is important. parrying when you can't reliably hold the boss's aggro? Uh, totally fine, because all I have to do, the way that that boss is coded, it pretty much just always attacks the last thing that hits it. Gotcha. Yeah, and we could. You could we also could always, wear an amulet. Yep, I we could, could wear Shabriri as well. We could go out of our way to adopt a more turn-taking playstyle too. Yep, like yeah, we, sure. we might we have to, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, like backstabbing an enemy is much easier if, like, you know, you kind of like two people like take turns. Like, okay, he he woke up now. He's facing after me. To get him to turn around. Like, <laughs> all right, where I don't have we so, don't have that could apply to for this area. So it's hard for me to tell. There is a mesmer encampment that's like right up here that has a talisman that's pretty good at it. So I'm gonna look for that. Yeah, you don't get the map until you go all the way down to the ruin. Cause there's like a tent somewhere around here. Oh yeah, there's a forge right here as well. Yes, this one's too too loose. Yeah. No, I get stuck. Is there a reason we're still avoiding the state change? Uh, yeah, just to get everything we can before the state change. What does it change? It moves all the NPCs. The yeah. I don't think there's really any reason to avoid it at this point. Yeah, there's not. We're, right, I just may as well I, I like, touch everything we can touch before it. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, like, why not? 
I keep thinking there's more involved, like it's going to be like the, the Bloodborne or Dark Souls 3 state changes where entire enemies get all swapped out. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Me, me dual wielding whips, but not wanting to get off my horse. So I just use, just use one very slowly a lot of the time. You know, alternating between a crit weapon and a heavier weapon works perfectly. Cause like, you know, I backstabbed an enemy, then you join into help. At when, when you join into help, it's no longer advantageous for me to continue backstabbing. Cause it just like, yeah, it wastes damage opportunities. So we can just stagger the enemy. So um, switching away from the misery cord oh, is perfect. Okay. I've noticed the heavy attack on the perfume does a surprising amount of stagger. Yes. Scatter shot throw Scattershot is the throw. one. If you're going to use the Smith script daggers, you may as well just only use that weapon art. It is pretty sick. Yeah, it is extremely good with that weapon. It's the saving grace of the otherwise kind of useless weapon. Damn. I would, I mean, maybe I could afford to play with them in this, this the, run, but... This is the confusing secret place. What? Mm hmm? Sure. What the, wait, you could just see the, you could just see the beetle. Yeah. The beetle was invisible in my game. LOL. Was it? Does it, like, turn invisible when it gets aggroed and we just get too fast? All I could think about was this level. No, a there's a beetle of, right there. A be yeah, there's a beetle upstairs here on this ledge. And when I was here, uh, oh, God damn it. When I was here, I couldn't see it. All I could do was hear it. And I was going around trying to follow all the messages and I couldn't figure out what was going on. So yeah. I figure out where this beetle was. was yeah, crazy. you can just see it. Yeah, weird. Because I think it was invisible. Uh, in my game, it was I not. Remember, but... I remember spending way too long just like climbing on top of the building, like trying to like locate it via sound, walking all over the place, and just being extremely unsure what the fuck was happening. Because you can climb on top of this building. Don't remember if there's an item up there or not. I don't think there is. Kettle Chip says Kettle has had the same experience as Keith, where the beetle was invisible, so maybe it's just a bug. Maybe it's just a bug. It, of course it's a bug. It's a beetle. <laughs> wow. That's why they pay me the big bucks. All my deep brain jokes. Oh, wait. There's a message on the ground. I wonder what it says. <laughs> Hit them where they're weak is. Fuck. Okay. Thank Discourse. you, Discourse. <laughs> Are they talking about the slimes? <sighs> I'm getting so many smithing stones because I have such high drop rate. It's so amazing. Right in the slime hole. Is there nothing in this first drop down spot? I don't uh, remember. They sh they should I, I, I slimes it weak doesn't spots. look like it. I think it's just to teach you that it, yeah. this type of geography is here. My level. Uh, mental acuity is not great today, so we'll have to just wow. rely on other people's eyes and memory. Hey, Holly! It's 107 degrees outside. And it's 107 it degrees is. inside because my computer's warm. No. This kills the toaster. The toaster has become the toasty. I did Ow. a little tiny bit of work today. And I mean, not my day job work. I mean, like stuff that needed to get done. Uh, I'll get back in time. Hopefully. Work. No. Yep. And Fortunate back, back to the wall situation. Things are good. Right, this heals is so much better. Dad jokes at not being a dad. I'm a kind of dad. What? <laughs> You're not a dad until you're paying child support. Smith script axe. That is a fun one. Uh, that is a weird fun one. The Smith script axe. I feel like there's things you can do with that. This weapon. It does have wild strikes though, which is like weird for this particular loadout of weaponry. Being able to throw a weapon is like 
feels so Castlevania. -y. It does. Like... <laughs> it feels extremely Castlevania. I'm like, I'm all about it. Oh, I remember this level. Yeah, I, it's the one where you have to lift it and so it eventually tilts up the other. I was really hoping that there would be cool stuff in the lava down here, but there isn't. I think there I isn't. Yeah. On There's nothing here because I tilted it too early. Yeah, I remember this one threw me oh. for a bit because you have to like look around. And there's like, at, from the get go, this thing can access like several locations at once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's, I, like, think you, I think you can untilt it. To play it in. You uh, can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can yeah. untilt it after you've tilted already. You just have to it's run to like the other side <laughs> of the the stage yeah. to do it. Yes, just make a Smith Great Hammer build. Uh, the Great just Hammer is probably throw it at people over and over again. Yeah, the Smith uh, script Great Hammer is the one that people really like out of all of them. It's I just, feel like this jumping off to the left is more of a side path, so might as well clear it out first. Maybe if I remember the level order correctly, it's a bit fuzzy. I don't remember. The yes, hammer throw, uh, the hammer throw is just very entertaining. Ow! Yes, it is very entertaining. You really just wing it. Yeah. Elden Ring at the Olympics. <laughs> Blythe and Alexander at the Olympics. All right. That doesn't, that doesn't even function as a meme format. I only remember that game because I worked at Best Buy when it was out. What, Sonic and Mario at the Olympics? Yeah. It's a beloved game. Man, I would... We'll have to get to it in our Sonic completionism. Oops. I... 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 Through. I really genuinely want to. Like, the idea of playing a game like Sonic right now fills my life with a degree of stability that I don't think has been there <laughs> since I was a child. Like, just the... Just, Sonic? Yeah. Like, Sonic, Sonic games are, like, reliably bad in a way that is, like, very comforting and simple. <laughs> And like not oh. frustrating, like we'll have to all meet up together to play Sonic Generations and Shadow. I would love to do that. Uh, I would love to do that. I don't know. I just that, I'm worried that now that I have a furry audience, it's gonna me like, covering Sonic negatively is gonna be poorly received now I in a way that it wasn't so. before. I promise. <laughs> no. I will be the weird contrarian here, and I'll just be really nice about Sonic because I I just don't have don't, any desire don't. to be mean about it. <laughs> Like I don't even no, like it, I don't even like Sonic. Like I'm not like I'm not into Sonic games. I don't have like a strong connection to them really. I just think Sonic is like cute as a cultural thing. Like just like yeah, oh, I vaguely like Sonic's like energy. Yeah, as a exactly. Franchise. But every single game is bad. Yeah, yeah. your toaster was going in with the right mindset to God enjoy. damn it. Yeah. Like my my I wanted, idea I wanted of to do Sonic Frontiers, is like, but I was worried it would just be instead of exciting and fun the way that all the dumb Sonic games are. It was, I thought, figured it was just gonna be a really tedious, long open world Sonic game. Like I'm so kind of, burned by bad like furry video games that like the idea of something <laughs> being mundane and like enjoyable and kooky. Oh no! Did you jump off? off? No, no. no. Oh, no. He, when he died, he pushed me off the edge. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! The quality of, of furry games does part do something to explain the quality expectations furries have for Sonic games. Yes, yeah. I would I would yeah, like you should to never... play them yeah, sometimes. I was, I, was, yes. I was taken aback by how overwhelmingly positive my entire Twitter feed was about every each the new Sonic announcements and Sonic Frontiers and so on. I'm like, this is alien to me. Yeah. I think I don't people understand. I think I people... feel like the, the furry audience is excited, but they don't think these are going to be good. They like how unapologetically bad they are. I do. <laughs> epitomized by Crush 40. I don't the, know about that. The band that's like, I'm going to crush 40. Let's call our band that because I'm turning 40. Yeah. I think my Joker moment was when people were praising the, the Shadow expansion to Sonic Generations, which itself is just an HD remake, but they added Shadow 10 years later. <laughs> uh, an HD remake of an HD remake where they add Shadow 10 years later was that when he lands from the air onto the street, he does a little roll. And, like this is the kind of attention to detail Whoa! you only get from from like true for true from true fans and whatnot. I'm like, what the fuck? That's like the bare minimum. He has a landing animation. Congratulations! It's not like the other Sonic games where he would just instantly be running the moment his the frame he touched the ground. Like I, that's the bare minimum of of any level of animation. That was like, you should have expected Sonic to do that on the Dreamcast. <laughs> I think oh, I just 
find it cute. Like, I just think that it's nice that people have something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no. <laughs> it's just like, oh. I just can't relate. Fandom yeah. is so intense. Fandom I can't. Is so intense. <laughs> I can't relate either, and I think that's why I, I long for it. It's just, like, this idea of, like, I wish... A may, simpler like, feeling. Yeah, like, I wish I could just enjoy Sonic, you know? Like, I wish it was just something that was fun and good and, that, like, unequivocally enjoyable. Um, that could probably he heal me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. I think a lot about Sonic for some reason. Like, I just... I think it's a weird thing that exists in the cultural milieu that like feels like a relic yet still clings. Like, I don't know. I just find that yeah. very weird. I mean, I have no, I don't know how the development works, but my theory has always been that Sonic goes on forever. Cause it just looks like a very cheaply made product. Yeah, I think it yeah. is. So I, I don't, I don't think any of the Sonic games are expensive projects. So yeah, just, just it's, it's built in fan base. will make every game profitable. Yeah. It's also probably me because I do own every single Sonic game. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I do, I have, I do own I've, an upsetting number of them. Yeah, I've never played any of them. Like, I mean, I played Sonic Adventure 2 <laughs> Battle as a child, what? and like I played like Sonic 1 and 2 on the Sega Genesis when I was like a literal kid, but whenever they go like on sale on Steam, because Sega always does like fucking 70% off Steam sales, I will just buy whatever Sonic games I don't own because I'm like, I'll get around to this maybe. It'll be like good content. Like people will watch it. And then I just don't play them. So I've been like genuinely sitting on them. Here's the money shot weapon, the fucking Smith Grip shield. This thing's crazy. Um, we didn't get the Cirque. Where the hell is the Smith Grip Cirque? Is there another Forge? I don't For remember if that one's from a Forge. I thought it was, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm forgetting now where that is but yeah i don't know sonic is just like cute like it's just a cute weird thing that exists that i don't i'm not like upset that it is real uh it was in starfall past so it was in the last one. Oh, we missed it then we missed it. sonic, sonic gets the pass i don't know if sonic gets the pass i think the games are probably still really bad and i would be upset about yeah them being no i bad. mean from the part of your brain that's like we should never support anything that's bad yeah it's just like okay like, you eh, know it's what sonic, yeah whatever. it's like it's sonic it's gonna exist <laughs> it be, without it's allowed me to be bad. yeah yeah exactly i mean it's just again it's gonna live it's gonna exist without me so like my participation in this is irrelevant god i, just, I still remember this like we, we 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 stopped covering Sonic 06 by accident. Basically, we just kind of like oh had poor management and forgot. Or we well, shot we we beat oh, yeah. ten times on a ladder. Oh, we yeah. did beat one thing. Yeah, we beat we a beat campaign. Sonic's campaign, and we were like in the middle yeah. of another campaign, and we just kind of like never came back to it. Whoops. Uh, but yeah. Sonic and the Black Knight, we literally had we genuinely had to give up on. We could not. The controls didn't point, work. It's not my fault. Yeah, we hit a point where we were fighting the the night boss. And, and like the circular Colosseum or whatever, where you just keep running on a track. I mean, I, can, I can't narrow it down by saying running on a track in, in Sonic, but but we were just on, we were sitting there at Andrew's TV, and there was like a QTE in the middle of the fight that would happen that was required in order to continue the fight, mm -hmm. and, and Andrew just couldn't do it, and then he passed it off to me, and I just couldn't do it, and then we literally had like multiple people in the room I watching, the jump. so we just it. did it. We went around the room and handed it off to each person, and not a single <laughs> everyone could everyone could reach the QTE just fine. No one could figure out how to do it. Interesting. You, were just, you, were, you just Sonic. I think he would just like Sonic would like jump into the air, and like I died at the same spot. Ka did in like a very obvious QTE <laughs> cutscene moment, and you had to like waggle it or something, and just no one. Yeah, you had no to do. One, in a game you had to do like three different children, moves. Not a single adult man could figure out what the game wanted you to do in that moment. Incredible. We we literally had to just give up and put the game away. We're like, all right, well, it's dead to me. <laughs> We're never. We can't. Please the do not flip the switch yet. It's it's one of the it's on the list of reasons why I really hate what I call like kind of subjective controls. Just yeah, gesture based or touchpad based controls where you have to just kind of like interpret God damn what it. the right <laughs> yeah. move is as opposed to pressing Y. Yeah. Because you're like, I don't I don't know. I've, you know, in other games you don't have to debate whether or not you pressed Y. You you know what the Y button is. But in a game like that, or like Dance Central or something, you can genuinely be like, I don't know why it's yeah. not counting. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just not counting and I can't tell which part is wrong. It, I don't get feedback. 
I guess I can't play this game. It's almost like an accessibility problem. We're like, the game's literally unplayable, I guess. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to move on. Huh. And like, how do you Google it? You just Google, like, Ooh, how do you waggle it right? <laughs> like, in, <laughs> in other video it? games, you'd be like, yeah, you do a quarter circle punch or whatever. You do a dragon kick. Yeah. And on Wii, it's like, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you go like, eh. <laughs> He's got to go like, eh, and someone's trying to convey that to you in a game facts post. Like, what do you do with that? <laughs> so anyway, it's a, that's it's, my, it's a vibe, my, vibes based boss. This is my quarterly I hate the Wii rant. It wasn't for the usual reasons people hate it. <laughs> it's just that specific. And I'm like, just the subjectivity of like, what, what do you want from me? That broke me. That safe looks dangerous. Oh, that jump looks dangerous. That's no! I'm right! I'm wrong! I'm right! <laughs> I, f I feel that way. What? To, to the pitch fuck one of oh, I'm say? not getting those souls back. To pitch one of my own videos, if people haven't seen it yet, I made a video about motion gestures in uh, Demon Souls, but it broadly it applies to the rest of the Souls games as well. Uh, where like some of the motion based gestures, well, if you're not aware, if you haven't played the game on PlayStation, they have motion based inputs that can trigger gestures. You just hold a button down and move yep. your controller around. I didn't know some that, of the but I also played the game. Some of the motions are so fucking inscrutable and impossible to pull off consistently. There's a few of the motions that are because they require like rotational data mm -hmm. and it's just like way too finicky. And like I got to play with it in debug where like I turned off rotational inputs so I could isolate like which movements were being tracked and like try to do them more carefully. And like I still had a hard time telling like what the fuck was going on with them. It was that bad. <laughs> Uh, but there are certain motions where it's like just lift the controller up oh, fuck, or, or back. just push it away from you and like those are easy to do consistently if you have the other motions like turned off so my complaint with them is like oh they should have had only like four motions that you could do and then it would have been totally fine oh I got the golem fist interesting I didn't get that before I like the golem fist rocket punch let me know when you need me flip it, Keith. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go back to Starfall Pass by myself to grab the Smith's Grip Cirque because I want it. Yeah, I think okay. we just never I went into that souls. last room where it was. Okay, now I'm back on. I don't remember where it actually it's, is. It's Whew. at the sewage oh. waterfall at the end of the sluice. I'm states. back on the Yes, thing. yeah. Yeah, why is it not letting me? Hold on, so oh, let I think you to pull the, the other lever again. I'm at the other one. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, so my, my multi-part scream thing was I jumped at the platform you guys jumped uh, at, but I got caught on the chain. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, so yeah, 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 that happened to me. straight down the chain, but then my extra confusion is I did get caught on the lip of the ledge, so for, for one second I thought I still would survive, and then I slid off the lip and died. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. The left, is that the... Yes. Yeah, left is the correct way to go. You can also go right and just go back out to the exit. You don't need to grab anything. You gotta get the. Yeah, awesome. You get you get the forge. No, you. Once one person grabs it, everyone gets it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice. I'm so used to just clearing all the notifications this game spams at me that I don't register anymore. Wow. I know. I just got the ancient dragonstone and, and Taylor the gold goldsmith. I'm definitely going to upgrade him. Weird, I already. He's, yeah, I already Yazaki personally writes every yeah. pop-up for you. It probably didn't happen because I was dead. Ooh, I that messed up the jump, but still made it. I probably missed the grab, the drops because I was in lava and respawning across <laughs> the map. Uh, to hmm. Toaster, did you go back to the other one to try to hunt the thing down? I did. Uh, yeah, I'll try to catch up with you. Where the uh, gate is open, you should be able to just run through and grab it. Uh, where is it? The, uh, is the, Starfall uh, passed near the um, Morth Ruins. Morth Highway, yeah, yeah. Morth, west of Morth Ruins. And you're just gonna take like a right. You're you're gonna go through the first Lewis Gate and then take a left, and then it's just at the end of that tunnel. Oh, you guys just saved me. Thank you. Yeah, those are probably my favorites of the throwing weapons. And I really, really wanted to like the daggers, but I did not. Yeah, the, the daggers kind of suck. <laughs> Sorry, you're all flipping out. It's very funny. 
Yeah. I'm still in the in the mine, so all of you are just clipped halfway into the floor and rolling and, sp and attacking and spinning in place in one spot all on top of each other. This is going to do fuck all damage, but I want to see... This mod is absurd. ...what right. this circus is like. Do I go up the ladder down here? No. Oh. No, you just got to go inside of the, uh, the place where we opened the door and jumped on top. Yeah, come back, uh... Oh, oh hoi! Uh, we behind. Oh, Ka, that's Ka. Where'd you guys go again? Starfall Pass. Uh, we're at. Yeah. The Forge uh, of Starfall Pass. It is just west of Morth. Right, there's two golems that way, but that's the way it is. Yeah. Oh. Hopefully, I can run around their models. Oh, boy. Okay. Ah! Out of my way! Nope. I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out. Trying to get out. There we go. Got something last time. Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. One the, of them's uh, down. The throwing circus. I do think the curse you blade circ is probably is the best of the circ weapons, just because it has innate bleed. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Why would you close the Lewis gate? <laughs> got it. Good job. Very funny that Whoop. we missed this last time. Yeah, the backhand blades are good. I do like them. What? They're interesting. Yeah, uh, oh, you're looking for a key to pass these guys. The sluice gate freaked yeah. out. Yeah. <sighs> Just pass these giant guys that are killing everybody. Oh, yeah, the, guy, the actual cave dead end that I. Yep. This was the first uh, mine I found. And so I didn't know what to expect. I didn't, I had never see, found the end of one yet. So I was like, Am Oh God, I done? so you started with the hardest one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I just got here and I was like, Is it over? I guess. <laughs> I also didn't know how to fight the enemies yet because I didn't see the message on the ground in this one. So I was like, These guys. <laughs> are a huge pain in the ass and I don't want to deal with that. So I was just running past them all the whole time. Uh, <laughs> and I couldn't find like an end point. So I was like, I guess I grabbed all the loot. I guess I'll just leave. <laughs> and then they got to the second mine uh, an hour later and I'm like, oh, they have an ending. <laughs> yeah. So I had to come back and find what was up here. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to warp back to uh, the Morth ruins. Tailu Tailu's ruin for just so that we can keep exploring that area. We should probably grab the map. Oh, yeah. Duh. 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 Yeah. Chat says they, feel, they felt similarly about Final Fantasy. Well, for Final Fantasy, depending on how, you, like, if you don't count MMOs, by many people's definitions, there was not a single good Final Fantasy between either 10 or 12 and the 7 remake. <laughs> Which was like twenty years. Yeah, I don't. I was gonna say there hasn't been a good Final Fantasy. I don't think for a long time, right? They really slowed down their production cycle. Some people like sixteen. No, they don't. Sixteen has a really excellent start and a really bad ending. That's Which is so most it's games bad. People like because most games are just unfinished usually. That is sixteen ex has uh, a dog. It does have a dog. <gasps> for me, but is that enough? <laughs> no. Uh, you can get the dog in 14, so that's enough for me. Oh, then no, it's not <laughs> enough. If you can get into a different Final Fantasy game, then that game becomes nullified. Yeah. <laughs>